Tower, which promises a fun walk down memory lane, had an experience it will never forget today. The store was a stopping point for a vehicle involved in a Newton Falls accident. First News anchor Stan Boney shows us what happened live from the scene. Stan. Well, I'm standing outside of Broad Street Vintage, right here in the middle of downtown Newton Falls. You can see behind me that the building is now boarded up. They just finished that job about 15 minutes ago. Uh, what happened earlier today, I'm going to kind of take you through it here. There was, at around 2.15 this afternoon, there was a blue pickup truck parked here. And you can see the parking along West Broad Street here is diagonal. That pickup truck was backing up onto Broad Street when a semi coming up the road, hit it, pushed it forward and into Broad Street Vintage. That's why it's boarded up tonight. Now we do have some pictures to show you of the end result after that semi hit that pickup truck. And this is all according to witnesses that I talked to. Here you can see the blue pickup truck deep into the store. Uh, it did run all the way into the store. It was being driven, I'm told, by an elderly gentleman, and he is okay. Now eventually the police and the fire department, the ambulance crew showed up. I understand it happened very quickly, within five or ten minutes after it happened, and they pulled that blue pickup truck out, and then the crews came and boarded up the building, and now life is beginning to move on again. Uh, the store, Broad Street Vintage, is owned by Mike and Pam Talanka. I did get a chance to talk with them briefly. They had been on vacation for about a week. The store was not open when the accident occurred, so they came down here and saw what had happened, and I was just inside a minute ago, and they are beginning to clean up. Now, one thing they also told me is that it really couldn't have happened any better if there's such a thing like that, because as you can see, it happened right here in the middle, and this is where all all the glass was. Uh, there was a little bit of brick at the bottom, from what I understand, that was damaged, but this is all old brick. This is an old, old block of buildings. And they say that all they really have to do is replace the glass and a few of the collectibles. It's an antique store that were damaged right when the truck went inside. Nobody hurt. Everything can be fixed. The truck is pulled out, and they're beginning to build, rebuild, and move on here in downtown Newton Falls. Live in Newton Falls, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.